Hi guys, this is Dia and today I will take you through my organized wardrobe tour and I hope this video gives you a few tips and ideas to organize your closet. This video is in collaboration with Sia Fashion, an online clothing store that delivers worldwide. Yes, you heard it right, delivers worldwide. I will show you a mini try on haul later in the video. That being said, let's get started with my organized wardrobe tour. So let me first give you an overview of my wardrobe. It's a medium sized wardrobe with three drawers and four shelves on either side and hanging space in between. I got these extra shelves installed in this middle section, middle bottom section to maximize the storage space as it was not being utilized optimally before. Let me first start by showing you the right side of the closet as this is the main area I use. Let me show you from top to bottom. The first shelf is where I keep my handbags. I don't change my handbags frequently, so I've kept them on the top. I'm a mother of two lovely toddlers, but since years now, I've been using tote bags or backpacks, and now I think I'm out of that mommy diaper zone, so I can start changing my bags on a regular basis. Underneath this shelf is where I keep my jewelry. All my jewelry is neatly contained in this jewelry holder that I ordered from Amazon. I will leave a link to as many products as I can in the description box below. All my bangles are hanged in this bangle holder. Also, these bangles are from Sia Fashion and this bangle holder is from Lincraft. It's a local store here in Australia. This little divider is actually a salt and pepper shaker base that I use to keep my big rings and studs into. I love to wear these pearl studs and I almost wear them daily. At back is another jewelry holder from Kmart. It's a see-through golden bordered jewelry holder which I really love and it holds my extra earrings and bangles. So this is how I store my jewelry. The next two shelves is where I keep my day-to-day -day items like hand cream, deodorant, perfume, hairbrush, scrunchies, a little makeup, etc. in this acrylic organizer. I bought this a long time ago and I don't even remember. I think it was either from eBay or from Amazon. I'll try and find it and I will put a link in the description box for sure. At back, I have few extra perfumes and skincare products in these baskets that I bought from Bunnings at a whooping price of $1 for a pack of three. Can you believe it? Actually, it was a little, I would say, defected, which is why I got it at such a bargain. The bottom shelf is pretty much my go-to shelf whenever I'm going out and coming back home. It has my handbag, my sunglass, my watch and my jacket. So as soon as I return back home, I place these items here rather than placing them somewhere near the entrance and cluttering my house entrance. If you have a place for each item in your house, then you know exactly where to put it back, right? Reducing visual clutter in your house, making your space neater and more organized. Now let's look at the three drawers at the bottom. In the first drawer, I keep the clothes that I wear at home. I like to file fold my clothes, a method by Mary Kondo. This enables you to see all the clothes you have and it does not disturb other clothes when you pick one out. I will show you exactly how to file fold your clothes later in the video so stay tuned. In the middle drawer, I have all my t-shirts that I wear outside or while filming. So if I have to film, I will open this drawer and if I'm home, I will pick one from the first drawer. Easy peasy. I have tucked all the t-shirts in these bins that I bought from Bunnings. You will see my entire wardrobe has these kinds of bins of different size and colors. I personally love how they fit so well in these drawers and can hold at least 10 to 15 t-shirts in a single basket. If you have clothes in the bins, then it's highly unlikely that your clothes will be all over the place. Rather, they will always look neat and tidy. In the last drawer, I've kept all my denims in one basket and colorful pants and shorts in another. 
So think about the flow of getting ready. If I have to get ready, I have everything on the right side of the wardrobe together. From clothes to skincare, hair care, makeup, handbag to go out, etc, etc. So always set up your wardrobe as per your flow of getting ready. I had jeans previously in the left side of the wardrobe and exercise gear in place of jeans here on the right side. But that was very unfunctional as just for jeans, I had to slide open the other side which was very annoying. Then I swapped the workout clothes and denims and now I think it's very practical and functional for me to get ready. Now let's look at this middle portion of the closet. In middle I have hanging space where I hang all my Indian clothes like Indian dresses and saris. I have used these thin felt hangers as they are anti-slip and I highly highly suggest them. I had wooden hangers before but the clothes would slip off. So I suggest invest in such felt hangers as they hold your clothes very securely. They will not fall even if you try and pull them, trust me. Having thin hangers allows you so much more room to hang things up and they keep your clothing from slipping off as I said. I got mine from Aldi, a pack of 20 only for 7.99. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or eBay or Bunnings and so many other places one tip is to hang all the clothes in one direction it looks neat and you can easily see and access them too so much emotion just pick your poison is every move you make even allowed can't get enough now I will show you a few saris that I've received from Sia Fashion. They have amazing collection of ethnic wear from saris to salwar kameez to men's and kids traditional Indian ethnic wear. This grey one is my personal favorite. It's lightweight yet it's perfect to wear on any party or festive occasion. This another one is again party wear is full of sequins work. What I particularly like about Sia Fashion is that they took my measurements via WhatsApp. They sent me a form, I filled it and they stitched the blouses. I actually wasn't sure how will it turn out but I must say they did a very good job. Each and every blouse fit just perfectly. Third sari for today is this aqua blue silk sari. All the blouses they sent are of different styles and if you want any particular design, you can send them a picture and they will do it for you. Isn't that great? I'm not sure about you but for all the Indian non-residents, I think it's a jackpot as we can now order Indian ethnic wear from tip of our fingers. Now let's move on to the bottom section of the closet. Previously I had hanging space here which is why I still have this clothes hanging rod here. Below it I have kept these 5 litre bins from Bunnings in this shelf to store my sari blouses, petticoats and dupattas. I have some extra storage space here where currently I have few keepsakes, photo frames but I can utilize this anytime if I have more clothes. I tried my best to look away but I can't stop. Am I afraid to you? Bottom two shelves are used to keep my footwear. I have few on display and rest in these foldable bins from Kmart. These foldable bins can store so many shoes in one basket. I have quite a few pair neatly tucked away in these three bins. I feel your body move my way you're close enough. So I say. On the very top of the cabinet, there is a big shelf that I mainly use to store non-seasonal clothes, few keepsakes, some formal wear that is currently not in use, travel bags, my in-laws clothes, etc, etc. There is some empty space in each basket to allow room for growth. So I can accommodate more stuff as and when I need. It's advisable to have some extra storage space and not overflow your bins and basket. You can also choose to label each bin. I have not yet labeled them. I might do them later. I'm still in search of good labels and not sure if I want to invest in a label maker. What is your suggestion guys? Shall I label them? And if you have any tips to buy a label maker, leave your comments down below. Now let's see the left side of the wardrobe. There's not much happening on this side. So let's quickly cover it. On the top, I have a basket. There's nothing in it right now, but it would be great to store my extra accessories like hair iron, hair curler, etc. This white box is from Teddy Blake. My pink handbag actually is of this brand. It's not in the box right now, but I really like this box and the packing inside. So I have hang on to it in case I decide to pack the handbag and not put on display. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta Hard. I know you want it to be easy. 
These are my kids drawing keys and they love to play with them every now and then. But they have no space in their wardrobe whatsoever. Their wardrobe is overflowing. So I decided to keep them here as I had space. I am planning to organize my kids and husband's wardrobe too very soon. I am not sure if I should film it or not. What do you think guys? Shall I film it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Now let's jump into the drawers. The first drawer has my Indian Ghagra Choli that I wore on our first wedding anniversary which happened to be our housewarming or Vastu Puja in India. And guess what? It never fits me then. But I'm working towards fitting into this dress again. In the middle drawer, I have kept my skirts on one side and western dresses on another. Again, using these bins to organize them. So let your guard down and I say In this final drawer, I have kept my workout clothes. I have not used these bins here just to show you what difference it makes when you have organized in bins versus no bins. You can use such shelf dividers as well to segregate the items in the same drawer if you like. If you do not want to invest in any organizers as yet, all you can do is to file fold your clothes. I will show you an example. So grab your pant, tuck this part in fold this down now fold this again midway creating a little pocket where you will stick in the other half of your pant you can do the same with your t-shirts too and now they are ready to be stacked this way even if they fall they will not unfold So guys, this was my organized wardrobe tour. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, got few tips and tricks to organize your wardrobe. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a like, a big thumbs up and make sure to check out Sia Fashion. I will provide you the discount code in the description box below. So make sure to check them out. I will sign off now and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now. Fashion.